Uh, blessing, blessings. Uh, how is everyone doing? Um, thank you so much for coming for again today's uh, teaching. So I'm in a series of uh, fasting and prayer. So if you were on my previous teaching, you know that in that video I talked about fasting. So today I came with how to effectively fast and pray to see great results. All right, you fast in order for you to draw near to God. It's a sacrifice. So Lord, our Lord Jesus sacrificed his life for us. So we might also live to sacrifice. So you can sacrifice just to hear the voice of God. So say, say you have a situation that is just troubling you. You want to hear God, what is God is saying about this next step, what God is saying about next year. So you go in the fast in order to go and hear, in order for you to hear the voice of God. So we fast for many reasons. Uh, here I'm just going to state the, the, the steps, the step that you have to take in order for your fasting and prayer to be very effective. Uh, first of all, state the reason for fasting. You, you, let's say maybe you have three reasons. I don't know how many reasons you are fasting. So, okay, I'm going in a fast because I want to inquire from the Lord. God, what are you saying about my next season? What are you saying about tomorrow? Oh God, why is my family in this situation? Oh God, please, I want to promote, I want promotion. All right, that is the reason you are fasting. And then you and always have a book that you write, you write, you, you, you are writing these things. And then you say, I'll give myself three days or four days. Or you say, at least until I hear the voice of God. Maybe God help me by your grace, by your mercy. At least after seven days, I must be able to hear your, vo the, your voice. Sometimes the, the day you will just go in the fasting. Oh God, that is, if you are very effective with what you are doing, then you will totally hear the voice of God. But you know that this is the situation I want to hear God. But after three days, just, let's say you just gave yourself three days. You did not hear anything. Continue going. That is what Daniel did. So Daniel did not go in the fasting like, I'm going to fast for 21 days. No, he was just waiting to hear from the voice of God. To hear God. But after now 21 days, the, his angel was released. Even the angel was released the day he started, but he was kept captured in the spirit by the prince of Persia of that kingdom. But if he could have stopped just from seven days, he could not have received information. But he decided to continue mourning, fasting, and praying and inquiring from the Lord. So you state the reason for your fasting. All right, I'm fighting for these reasons. And then go in your Bible, study the situation maybe. Okay, maybe if in the Bible, is there a situation like this that happened like this? Or let's say maybe you have heard from someone and then this, that person say, I use this kind of scripture for you, for your fasting, in order for your fasting to be backed up by scriptures. For you, and when you are going to pray, if you are having three fasting, make sure everything has a prayer point. Yes, because you are going in to fast and pray. Make sure everything has a, a prayer point. So let's say you want promotion. Then you go in the book of Esther. There was Mordecai who was promoted. Or you go in Genesis. There was Joseph who was, who was promoted. So you study these books. All those seven days, you are just in those books. You are using the scripture like, Father, if you are enforcing your promotion, as, as Mordecai was promoted, Father, I pray, promote me. So mostly favor is what promote people. So let's say, Lord, let me find favor in the sight of my boss. You see? Because the Bible says the heart of kings are in the hands of God. So you are going to enforce. It is the will of God. You know that you need promotion. So it's the will of God for you to be promoted. So you now go in the... Every reason you are fasting for must have... Has, must have a prayer point and it must be backed up by the scripture and also let's say every 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 reason you are fasting it, it at least carry a book that is supposing and, and please and also for you to to get scriptures or the book to study 
inquire from the Holy Spirit. I remember I was just in fasting. This one I think for 21 days, I don't know. And one day I was like, in, in, each, in each day, I would be studying a book. And I was like, that one night, that one morning, one morning I just woke up like, Holy Spirit, what is that book that you want me to study today? Clearly I hear, that was the, my very first to, I, I knew I had been hearing from the Holy Spirit, but was that confirmation that day? It was so clear, clear. I, I received the, um, the, that from the Holy Spirit that study in this book. All right, now, number, number three, number three, check if it's the will of God. Yes, you don't want, oh, now the, your reason, now how you have reason out, I want promotion, I want to see what is my next year is going, please check, is it, is it in collaboration with the will of God? Because as I said in my next teaching, I, I don't want you to go in a fasting to enforce something which is not the will of God. You are, in the, you are going in the fasting with someone's husband or you are going in the fasting with a name of a man enforcing that God, I want to marry this person. But instead for you to go and inquire from the Lord, is this person my, going to be my husband or not? Then the Lord will say, no, it's, it's not. Sometimes you know very well, it's just your fleshly that is convinced. No, he must just be the one. But you know, even before you start that fasting, you know very well, this person, we, me and this person, we have no future. Let's say someone is, is a cheater. You are going in a fasting for a cheater. You want to change that person. God is not God of witchcraft, my dear. The person will be changed by God himself. Not you to enforce, Father, change this person. Ah, ah. When he, he give his life to Christ, God will change that person. Unless you are, you are praying for the person to change, but not to enforce that he must be your husband. With your ba no, 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 no. It's not, it's not the will of God. Make sure. And for you to, to know that, is it the will of God? It's when you have given yourself to the scriptures. You can see that. I was just reading these things, or I was just listening to this sermon. And in my spirit, it just came that in my family, people, they are, they are just not getting married or they are not being promoted. You can see that, yes, I have to inquire from the Lord that why you can see that you are being led. As I, if just go to my previous, uh, um, previous teaching, you will get to know which one is the will of God and not which is not the will of God. Yes. And then, um, number four, as I said, here is, are you being led or not? So, are you being led or not? Everything, don't go in the, because sometimes we go in the fasting, you come out with, you don't have the result, you, you come out, you don't have, you have not had any information. You are, you are going in the fasting way, way why you are not being led. You are going to enforce something. Like, Father, I want to go to Germany. You are enforcing, but... Your star is not in Germany. If your star is not in Germany and you are enforcing to go in Germany, you go in Germany and you, 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 you will suffer. You see that? You will suffer. So make sure, as I'm going in this first day, my st I, I, I just knew it. Sometimes, if you are a man of spirit, you just knew it. I just know it that I'm being led. Maybe you are just leaping out of the fasting. Something just, being, just leading you. That, my dear, you need to fast all because your next step is Germany. Okay? You are fasting for your visa. Fast, my dear. Make sure you are being led. So, and here, um, I, I'm just giving example in the Bible. For our Lord Jesus, for his first, first, first fasting, he was led. The Bible said in Matthew 4 verse 1, the Bible said, Then Jesus led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be improvised by the devil. Number two, for the 40 days and 40 nights he fasted. You see now? You see now? So Lord Jesus was being led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. In that, in that wilderness he fasted. Uh, and then, um, uh, these are the steps, like, f um, first to inquire and not to enforce. But don't go there to enforce something which is not the will of God, unless you are just going to inquire 
that God, what are you saying about this situation? Okay, so, so, so I want us now to know that, okay, am I going to inquire or am I going to enforce? I come with the, 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 the verses now. So as you can see for Esther, uh, Esther, it, it was just um, a destiny, something f for her destiny. Her destiny was just to, to go and help the people of Israel not to be killed. Because see, God knows what is going to happen. Hmm. The Bible says he knew he asked before he forms us in mother's womb. So some things are just programmed. So let's say you are just the one in your family. So you were born in that family for you to go and deliver that people from the bondage of whatever and whatever. Just like Moses. Moses was just born to go and deliver his people, the people of God, from the bondage of Egypt. So also Esther. Esther was just put in the palace. In that, when the situation arises that the people are going to be killed, so she was going to, to save the people. So now, Mordecai went to Esther and said, Esther, so when Mordecai heard that the people of Israel, they are going to be killed after, I think after 10 months. So then, she, then, uh, then Mordecai uh, uh, talked to Esther, like, listen, Esther, you need to do something. Don't think you went there just to go and sit. Maybe that is the will of God, the reason you went in that palace. And she was like, you know what? For, for 30 days, I did, the, the king did not call me, uh, so I, I'm not able to go in, the, in king's presence because if you go there, you will die if you are not being called. But Mordecai made it possible. But what if you are positioned for this reason? I'm telling you, God is going to deliver his people if you are not going to step up and you are going to perish. So she, she, so, so Esther, Esther has to rise up. Esther has to rise up. So you can see that she was being led by the Holy Spirit. You can see that. So she said, all right, fast for me. I will also fast. If I die, I die. And after three days, Boldly, she went and met the king. So you can see that Esther was being led. All right? And then you can also go to an, in the book of Daniel. Daniel find out information from the book of Jeremiah or Chronicle, I don't know, that the people of Israel were just supposed to be in bondage for this certain time. And that time has arrived. But we are still in bondage. So he found out an information. You, you can also find out an information that in my bloodline, why are we like this? Oh, so we are supposed to be like this. Maybe you just have a dream that, my friend, you guys, you are the kings of these nations. But the way you look at yourself, it's, it's not how it was described. So you go and they whipped to the Lord like God or oh, inquire from the Lord that God why are we like this now the Bible say in Daniel 9 verse 2 the Bible said in the first year of his reign of his reign I Daniel understood by the books for you you cannot understand by the books but it is just information or it's just a knowledge that comes in your mind that but why is my family nobody have ever gone to grade 10 is it a normal thing I don't think it's a normal thing just to get even a degree is it normal or some in my or i have five siblings uh, some of them are 38 years but nobody's married is it is it what is happening so the bible say he understood by the books of the years specified by the word of the lord through jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of jerusalem so so Daniel find out this information. Now the Bible continue to say, then, then the Bible continue to say, then it's Daniel 9 verse 2, the first verse, and then number 3, it says, then I set my face toward the Lord. Then he set his face toward the Lord. God to make a request by prayer and supplication with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. So after Daniel find out this information, that ah so we as those so we are supposed to come out of babylon by this time and what is happening here so 
he decided that I'm going in the fasting and prayer to request to the God. He cried out to Abba Father. And the very first day, his cry was heard. So the angel was sent, but it was held by the king of Persia that, uh -uh, listen to me, these are my people. You cannot go in there. But the angel, another angel that can fight was saying that, listen to me, there is someone that is fighting in that, in your kingdom. So we have to go to that person. So you inquire, inquire. Let's say you have fasted for three days for that situation, but you did not hear anything. If you were tired, at least each month until you hear something. Because you don't know, maybe your answer is being held like the answer of Daniel. You know that. That's why you go in your fast with your reason, back up by every, every, every reason. Let's say back up by three prayer points or one prayer point. And in all those three, three or seven days you are fasting, you are just pondering. You are just on those prayer points. And please, please, we don't go in the fasting and you are not studying the word of God. We hear God from his words. For you to understand that right now here, I'm listening to God. It is when, the moment you are reading the word of God, then you are, it's God's voice. So go in the fasting and you have a word of God. Study your Bible throughout your, your fasting. Let's say you fast from six to six. And let's say it's a Saturday, you are not going to work. All you did is just to sleep, but you did not eat. You think you fasted? Oh, 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 oh. fasting would, will kill your flesh, but what will take your supplication to God is prayer. How will you hear the word, the voice of God? It's his words. You see how those things, things. That's why you cannot just fast and you are not reading your Bible. How will you hear God? How will you hear God? Listen, when, 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 you, when, you, when you give yourself to the word of God, you are just being charged up. You are just being charged up. You get it? You are, your spirit man is being charged up. So that's why the Bible says the man cannot live only by, by bread, but by every word of God that proceeds from his mouth. You can live. So you don't go in fasting and you are not studying the word of God. You will come out clumpy. But if you are giving to the word of God, you will be just so fleshly. No, but people cannot even see that you are fasting. But if not, you will be so clumpy. You will be so angry. You will be so tired. But if you are just giving your... The, you are just being charged up. You are just being in, in, the, in the spirit. That is the secret. That is how to fast effectively and to pray effectively. Let's say you are, going, you are at work. Maybe you are not getting the time to read your Bible. But the, those scriptures that I say, every, every reason must be backed up by the, by, the, by the prayer point. Every prayer point might be backed up by the scripture. Have those scriptures in your mind. Meditate on them while you are just at work. Your scripture are just in your mind are just in your spirit, in your mind. Like that, my friend, before you open your mouth to pray, God knows what you are, what you are about to say. So the, the Bible says, the, the, the first moment Daniel put his mind to eat, his, it was already held in heaven. So don't, don't just say, when I pray, it's when my mouth is talking. It's not... But at least you know, even the Holy Spirit knows you are at work, you are busy. But you are meditating the scripture. You are saying prayer point in just in your heart, Lord, let this situation change. Let this situation change. For your word's sake, King of Crowley, our Lord Jesus came. That we have life, we will have it in abundance. I can say that my life is not in abundance. Inside your heart, or you is promotion, or you want favor, Father. Let Esther to be favored in the sight of King. Father, let me be favored in the sight of my boss. Let me be promoted as Mordecai. You see, if you if your reason are backed up by the, the, the by the scriptures, easy. It's not hard for you to to. 
to you are at work but you are in prayer and you are in fasting yes that's it guys that's how to effectively fast and pray i hope i have made it categorically clear if i have kindly leave your comment like this video subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next teaching bye